Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Halo here. We're playing more One Piece Treasure Cruise. The Super Suko Fest Parts 2, 3, and 4 are finally out. I did not do pulls on Part 1. I waited for the other parts to come out. And they are all currently here now, finally. Uh, so if you are waiting, which I kind of suggest most people to pull on 2, 3, and 4. Uh, it's kind of just... Part 1 has all the legends on it. It's a little... It depends on everybody. Everybody has different legends that they're missing. And this Sugo Fest, more than most others, uh, depends on what you have and what you don't have because of the way that it's structured and the boosts on each part and the limited pulls. It's a bunch of stuff. It's it's honestly not the best Sugo Fest there is, uh, but the units are very, very strong. So uh, if you haven't already, you can go check out my structure review of this Sugo Fest before you pull just to see whether or not you feel like you want to or I also go over the whole batch and what they do and what I think on each character so um but we're gonna get into pulls here we actually still have a free pull which just reset and we're still getting these these are not this one right here and everyone minus the one from yesterday which was the super sugo one are still the normal banner here the special celebrating the one the long voyage it's not the super sugo fest one but we're gonna do that first to get it out of the way um yesterday i did we everyone had one of these and we had the super sugo fest one right and it doesn't look like we're gonna get any reds here which honestly is fine with me it's still free multi pull yesterday however i got super type v3 zoro from my Super Sugo Fest multi, which was new for me. So I was pretty stoked to see that. I'm getting Iceberg there on the plus one. Overall, were there anybody good? I kind of just skipped through it really quickly. Uh, the Jozu's not half bad. Ein is very good, but I have her rainbowed and expanded out. Uh, and the Neptune is eh, fine. And. Time skip Nami is absolutely fantastic, but I do have her rainbowed already. So that honestly is not super good. But what I plan to do with my pulls, and I'm still kind of up in the air with what exactly I'm going to do because of the way this this whole Sugo Fest is really hard to plan for. Uh, specifically because it's hard to decide, like RNG. RNG is always there. So. I'm definitely doing pulls on part three. This is the plan. So I want the law. If we get the law relatively early, which I would really love, um, I think I might do pulls on part one. I'm not going to go super far though, because I still want to have a decent amount of pulls because a Sabo is definitely someone I really want. And there's maybe some other super fits I might pull on the way, but Yamato's out on JP and that's probably the next big like unit to pull for as captain poppy says milestone unit trademark trademark for him there um that's really the circle fest to save for after this one and you can honestly skip this one if you have a lot of other legends like top tier legends that don't include the trio units here you could honestly skip this and do yamato but um so this is what we're gonna do we're getting started. We're going to do pulls on part three here. I have my little infographic that I made over on the top right of the screen there. I'm really proud of it. it. Took me a couple hours. It's the first one I ever made, so I'll probably be making some more in the future and they'll be a little bit more intricate. And like, one thing I definitely want to do is like list all the steps and stuff on there as well. But I have my little infographic over here that I made and I'm missing on part three the new law the v3 blackbeard and hawkins those are the only legends i'm missing i actually have every single legend on part two and part four and all the ones on part one that are rate boosted minus the new legends so this is kind of the best part for me to pull on to begin with but uh we're gonna get started here 30 gems for the first multi-pull which is the only discount which really sucks and i don't like that we have no animations on the discount here which kind of sucks yo mecha gary in the chat shout out to mecha gary another treasure coup streamer uh but yeah 30 gem there really nothing gonna be big unless we get some the new rare coots which 
We have secret characters I forgot about. Um, with that chopper there. It's, the chopper and the Nami are very good units. Um, but yeah, I already have both of them. So, there's a... Oh, yeah, Yukimaru, bro. We've been waiting for this guy to appear for a while. He's actually boosted Rarecoot on this part. So, finally get him is nice. Do I Am I missing any other Rarecoots? I I think I'm missing one from the Moria Blackbeard batch, but I don't know exactly who it is. Regardless, that's new, and I'm pretty happy to get that at least on this kind of dead multi because we didn't get any legends unless we get a secret red. And we get the new Jinbei rear recruit there. I'll take that. Uh, I think he's the boosted one for this part, so that makes sense that we got him. Uh, but I'm hoping we can get some of the other ones along the way as well. Another Gukimaru. Again, he's boosted, so it makes sense that we are pulling a few of them. And Virgo there. So that multi-pull. Getting two new rare recruits, honestly, is the best we could get from getting no animations. Uh, so we're gonna, just going to continue here. Hopefully get some reds, because honestly, three times legend rate, we were kind of expecting to see some reds there. We did not. Uh, I'm expecting to see one red here for sure, because we got like a decent amount of and there we go, yet one. Can we see more than one? Um, I don't have, you know, one thing I didn't do was look at the structure, like, beforehand. Zephyr, okay. He's on this part, right? Yeah, he is, okay. I'm just making sure they didn't screw anything else up because the Rayleigh ticket, the one-year Rayleigh ticket, they messed that up. So what else could they mess up, right? Kobe, secret character, one of the new ones. Perona, I've pulled so many of that Perona. I think she doesn't even have a, I don't think she can be limit broken, honestly. I don't think any of the anniversary units can be limit broken, apart from maybe the new ones. Wow, okay. That's a uh, gold. I don't know what this, oh, this was a guaranteed Shirahoshi. That's what it was. Okay, so that's new. Happy to see that. I wanted to favor that up. I guess I couldn't get to it fast enough. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Third multi-pull here. Not a whole lot going on. Two cut-ins. Two cut-ins again. Okay. So, one red there. Okay. Two reds. I like to see it. Three reds. I like to see it. Four reds! <laughs> plus, I think the plus one is a red. So, some chances here. Some serious chances. I'd like to see the law here and just be good to go. That honestly would be the greatest thing. If we could just get that now. It's not extended. Snake Man. That's V2 Snake Man Luffy. Okay. I don't think I have him rainbowed. So, dupes of that's not awful. Not extended. Not that wasn't extended. Oh, let's go! Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. We can we can go now. We don't have to stay here. Oh my god, I'm so happy, bro. Let's go. Oh my gosh, thank God. I'm so happy I got him early because it means I don't have to go for. Her. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so stoked. All right, well, third multi-fold, we get the, the legend. That's insanity. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the unit, just in case you're not sure of, um, of what he does. He boosts dex, cerebral, and slasher characters by five times, HP by 1.3. He makes strength and quick slots matching for your entire crew, and you heal 0.5 of this character's recovery for every perfect you hit at the end of the turn. Very strong. Very, very strong. Very good captain ability. I love captain abilities that are like a color in two classes. Very, very good. Special ability on 19 turns at max, I think it's 13. Uh, reduces one enemy's HP by 10%, ignoring all defensive effects. Not normal attacks only, mind you. Uh, changes character slot, so only law slot, including a block slot, two decks. Boosts decks, cerebral, and slasher characters attack by 2.75 for one turn. 
and applies increased damage taken status to all enemies by 1.5 for one turn, ignoring immunity status. So good. So it's just like V2 Kaido, where he applies a two times, you know, increased damage taken to the enemy. But this law does that 1.5 times, but he does it through immunity on top of a very high attack boost for Dex Cerebral and Slasher characters. And you get a matching orb for himself and a small health cut. Very, very good. Love that special ability. Um, he also has last tap, which we can't actually see here. We have to evolve him. But his last tap, if I remember correctly, um, he... Actually, I don't remember specifically what it does. But, you know, what we can do is go through this multi-pull and then go check the tavern. Because I'm sure it's going to be there. Okay, Vex Sabo. I would really like... I know I just got the law, but if we could get either another law or <laughs> uh, one of the two other legends I don't have here, Hawkins or Blackbeard, that'd be sick. Okay. V2, Mihawk. Bro, great uh, multi-pull there. I'm pretty stoked with that. Let's save that image. Uh, let's go over to recommended character here. Okay, so here's his final tap, right? Your HP has to be above 70% at the start of the final battle. And at level 1, which, let's be real, you're probably going to have it at level 1 for a long time. He adds percent damage worth of 5% of the enemy's HP on top of the final damage. So whatever the enemy's HP value is, they take 5% of that value and that is added on top of the damage that you're going to do with the, the final hit with law very good but it just gets better from there at level five he adds percent damage worth of 20 percent of the enemy's hp on top of the final damage sets all enemies defense to zero for one turn which doesn't go through immunities mind you and boosts characters damage dealt to defense down enemies by three times for one turn so a three times conditional boost on only the law, but that is a lot of damage, especially if you can get the defense down to proc. That's very, very good. And that starts that like conditional boost starts on the third level of the final tap. On the second level, you get just the defense down to zero. But the very, very good final tap. Very good unit. Um, I'm super happy with him. His super type by the way you have to have any of the uh supernovas on your team right he does a 25 percent uh, heal of your crew's maximum hp and you can overheal which is fantastic and if your hp is above max limit it's treated as being full hp which we knew that's just how overhealing works he changes block slots to character's own type so it changes block slots on everybody which is very, very good. Locks crew slots for one turn changes all dex characters to super dex. It's a very good uh, super type. It's not the best super type, but it's very, very strong. So, yeah, bro, I'm super stoked for that. That is fantastic. And because we got him so early, I am going to do some pulls on part one now. Uh, I don't really know how far I'm planning to go here. I think I might go to the seventh multi pull. If we don't get one of the care like another one of the super types of the trios along the way, that second multi pull is definitely very good. And then you get legends along the way, and you get a rate boosted character on the sixth multi pull, uh, which is any of the units right over here. Um, so these three specifically, I don't have. Bonnie is also available on this part, so I could possibly get her, but we're gonna do multi-pulls for sure on part one here just honestly because we got so lucky getting law early on his part i'm just stoked for that um and then the discount surprising no animations uh just like the law part but maybe you know this is the multi-pull we have to do in order to get those great pulls later it's like that dude that summer robin though great artwork great unit I pulled her on one of my free multi-pulls a few days back, 
And I was pretty happy to get another copy of her because her number break slots, um, potential abilities are actually very, very good. So very happy about getting that Robin. If the, even if the rest of the multi pulls kind of just whatever, it's the 30 gem, so it's not too bad. That Luffy's pretty good. Um, I'd love to get another batch unit. It's another Perona. Okay. Uh, along the way would be honestly fantastic. Having really gotten the Law, which is the one I wanted the most, uh, I'm not super like... I, I don't know if I care to get any of the other two. I don't definitely not going super far to, to try to get the other two. That's for sure. Um, if we do get another one of the two, that's just icing on top of the cake, honestly. Um, so I'm expecting to get a red here. Yep, there we go. Okay. So that was on the 8th. And then we get a one of the new Reiju, Shirahoshi, or Rebecca units on the plus one here. Please not Shirahoshi because we already got her. And I would love to just not get another copy and get one of the other two. I'd be very content with having at least two out of the three. And if we can get one of the other two we don't have, I'll go to the other part and do two multiples to get the third one. Because if you're not aware already, these three units, the Rebecca, Reiju, and Shirahoshi, are point boosters for the new treasure map. We get Luffy Law there on our red. Kind of outdated now. Still a very good unit, but not nearly as good as it used to be. This Howling Buggy is very good, and this is, I think, the only the only the second copy I've gotten of him. So I'm pretty happy to get a copy of that. And then we get the Zoro Rare Crew. That is fantastic. He's the best one out of the batch for sure. He is super good. Giving you Special Bind and Attack Down Reduction by five turns. He has a Sailor ability that reduces five turns of Special Bind on himself too, which is fantastic. He locks your slots for one turn, and he doubles your slot effects for one turn. What a great rare crew. I'm super stoked to get that. I also got him 5 star too. So that is fantastic. Okay. Come on, Rebecca or Reiju, please. Okay. Thank you, game. That, that, that is not really what I wanted. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, we got the new Zoro rare crew there. I'm pretty happy with that. Can we get some more reds along the way here? So we have a decent amount of uh, animations there. We still have not received a gear four animation. Yeah, still haven't gotten one. We've gotten gear two, like every time we keep getting animations. We got two reds on this multipole though. Plus the plus one is a red as well. We get a secret red. Okay, it's not extended. V1 Katakuri. Um, again, part one has all the legends available on it. Uh, so these can be literally anything. That's a good boa. I'll take that. Um, and we another one of those Kuzans. This is only the second Kuzan that I've pulled of that rare crew batch. I was missing this guy until recently, and I'm pretty happy to finally have gotten him. He's a very good rare crew. Um, what was I going to say? To get Bonnie would be sweet. Halloween Shanks. Okay. Uh, he's not rate booster on this part. So, that's actually fine because I don't think I have a uh, unevolved version of him. What I was going to say was I got Law and he wasn't extended. So, it's very, like, we just don't know how it's going to go. I do have this Nami Rainbow. She's a great character. Um, I have seen... Sengoku, holy cow. Um, I have seen extended pulls of the new trio units though so it's here or there honestly then halloween mihawk not halloween mihawk that'd been great v2 mihawk not nearly as good um right there okay again i think like the farthest i might go is the seventh multi-pull and this one's just dead there's no animations at all. We can still get reds, and it's entirely possible for you to do so on multis. And we get the gear four there. See, like I said, animations, what do they mean? So we got one on the last poster there, plus the plus one. I keep saying plus plus a lot, sorry. Uh, is a red as well. We're getting a lot of this Drake, but I don't have the new Drake. 
So I would like to get that new X Drake if I could. Get two Nekos on this multipole already. And two Neptunes. I didn't look at what the uh, boosted rare recruits were for part one. It's just kind of what I was. Secret red too. So we're getting three reds in this multipole. Yikes. I haven't seen that Zoro in a very, very long time. That's V1 Zoro right there. All right. Now extended. Corazon. Very, very good unit. But I have him. Maybe I don't have him rainbowed. I'll check later. Very good unit though. It's not extended. V3 Kuzan. Okay. This guy's a little underrated. I think his special is pretty good. I think he's got a decent captain ability. He's definitely not top tier though. Okay. Let's go. This is the fifth multi-pull, which is again, uh, just a legend on the plus one. I remember that much. I know the sixth multi-pull is a rate boosted red on the plus one. So there's a red. There's another red. Okay, let's go. Did we get a red on the first poster? I didn't see. We didn't. Okay. <laughs> another Neptune. We're going to have this guy rainbowed by the end of these pulls. No doubt. It's not extended. Brock. Yikes. Not great. It's not extended. Odin. Okay. I do have him already, but I do not have an unevolved version of him. So I'll take that, honestly. I'll take it. Pal coming in here saying hello. You gonna get maybe anything else along the way? We're still missing the killer. Record. So that would be nice to have gotten all of them. But we'll see how it goes. It's not extended. Yikes, V1 Sabo. Yikes. Okay, well see, so this one's a rate boosted character, which can be any of these characters right here. Sadly enough, I have all of the characters except for the Luffy and the kids, so my odds aren't fantastic here. Uh, but it's still possible, and that would be fantastic if we could just do that right now. No animations, great. No cut-ins either. We did still get a red. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what you're looking for on a three times legend rate. And then we get the killer. Okay, great. So I have all of the rare crew bats. This is also the five-star version of the killer. Uh, I don't even know. Can you pull four-star versions of these new rare coots? I don't know. Um, I didn't really look into that. Possibly, I think. Here's our red, not extended. It's OG Barto, wow, okay. So we have, what we would like to see now is like e either of the new, well, I was about to say secret units. Not that one. Um, I definitely have that unit, I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe I have the evolved version. Um, I'd like to see the Rage or the Rebecca too. Like, I know they're pullable. So, here's a rate boosted red. It's not extended. Nami Robin. Yikes. That's not great. Oh, they are there. I couldn't see them on the list there for a second. I was like, are they not? What, what happened? All right. This is the final multi pull we're doing on this part. And then I might go to part four for the Rebecca. Because I think Rebecca's on the fourth part. So here's the seven times legend rate multi-pull. Let's see what happens. We did get the gear four cut in. Okay, one. One. On the seven times legend rate multiple, we got one. I swear if we don't see some serious secret reds, what the hell? 
That, wow. Here's a secret character. Boa, that's not what we're looking for. Another secret character. Rage is not the rage you were looking for, though. I, I, I'm blown away. Hello, summertime V3 ball. That's a very good pull, but I have her. Bro, you're going to tell me I'm getting one legend on the seven times multiple. We get another one of those Zoros. Okay. I'm I'm astounded. I'm actually blown away. It's not extended. V4 Sabo, the strength super type Sabo. I cannot believe that we got one legend pretty much because the plus one uh, kind of whatever. Two legends on the seven times one. That really sucks. I'm not happy with that. All right. Um. So, yes, Rebecca's on part two. Okay. So we'll do two for her. Because... And then maybe we'll do the um, Rage You one like later, but I don't think I'm gonna do pulls for her. Like at the moment. I haven't really decided on that. So we got one cut in. No legends that we know of. Every 30 gem that we've done so far has not had a legend. Here's a secret unit. It's that chopper again, okay. I'm gonna skip through these a little faster. Just another secret unit. Another boa, okay. It is a red on plus one, okay. It's not extended. Komarasaki, okay. I'm pressing the button, damn. Okay, here we get the Rebecca. Okay. We haven't had a multi-pull yet with all animations, and this one had no cut-ins. Yikes. Okay. It's kind of skipping through this. It's a secret red. Okay. It's not extended. Yo! V2 Magellan. That's fantastic. I do have him, and I have an unevolved version of him now, so that's kind of whatever, but that was... Not bad, honestly. Alright, and here's the Rebecca. And we're not doing any more pulls on this part. Very good. I like that. How many gems do we have? Right? 647. So, if we do two more on the kid part to get the Reiju. That's 80. We'll do, we're gonna do it. Let's just do two and then we'll be done. And then we're like actually done, done. Because there's no re real reason to go any farther. Two cut-ins. Okay. We did get a red, okay. Is that the first 30 gem we've gotten a red on? Well, no, we got the plus one on the Luffy part, okay. It's not extended. BT Sandy, yuck. Guki Maru there too. Okay. Oh, Ace. I think we've pulled like every single anniversary unit. <laughs> uh, minus the ones we really want. That's kind of funny. All right, last one. No animations. Fine. Fine. No reds on a three times legendary banner. Thank you again. We did get another killer there. That's nice. Another shanks. Okay. Another killer. All right. So we got that loss super early, but all of the other multi pulls were kind of yuck. Um, just not very good. All right, and that is gonna call it for this sugo fest we're down now to 567 so a little more than half of our leads are gems that we had 
and I'm I'm content with keeping it right there. Uh, there's really no reason for me to go any farther, uh, unless we got like some donations or something like that. But you know, I'm not gonna hold anybody up to doing that. Um, anyway, guys. I'm pretty happy we got the law super early. We got all three of the new limited time units, and we got the whole batch of rare crews. Uh, the only ones we didn't get are the kid and the Luffy, which honestly I'm okay not having, as long as we got that law, which we did get. So overall, I'm very very happy with my multi pulls. We didn't get any other new legends on top of the uh, law, but you know what? That's honestly fine. I'm I'm content with all these pulls. They weren't unbelievably good but i'm pretty darn happy with them uh so guys thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video you can go ahead and hit that like button for me it helped me out a great deal as well as subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified for when i put out more videos um and you can check out the description below which has a link to my twitch channel we're live right here uh playing treasure cruise a lot and other games and i'd love to see you there um and so, guys, I will talk to you all later. See ya.